Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super exciting from the world of robotics, this awesome mechanical gripper mechanism. If you're into CAD design, automation, or just cool engineering stuff, stick around because I'm gonna walk you through how this whole thing works piece by piece. So what you're seeing on screen is a robotic gripper, basically a mechanical hand that can open and close to pick up and hold objects. It's often used on robotic arms for tasks like pick and place, assembly, or even delicate object handling in industries like electronics and manufacturing. Let's break this down, starting from the back. That black box at the rear, that's most likely a stepper or servo motor. Its job is to drive the motion of the entire gripper. Moving forward, we have this circular housing. This is like the foundation. It holds everything together and mounts the gripper to a robotic arm or fixture. You can also see some pretty beefy linkage arms here, and they're what make the magic happen. These arms are arranged in a double parallelogram configuration. What that means is, when the motor rotates or moves a central shaft, the motion is transferred through these linkages. And because of how they're set up, both gripper fingers move in perfect sync, straight in and out, just like you want when gripping something securely. At the front, we've got the gripper fingers, these are the actual parts that touch and hold the object. Notice the lightweight design with those cool cutouts? That's intentional. It reduces weight without sacrificing strength, which is super important for speed and efficiency in robotic applications. This type of gripper is used in a bunch of different places, from industrial robots on assembly lines to surgical robots that need to handle tiny tools with insane accuracy. It's all about precise, repeatable motion. 